Well, a re-engineered cell treatment giving hope to leukemia and lymphoma patients is now being tested on a rare autoimmune disease and it's showing remarkable results. Yeah, it's estimated about 300,000 Americans, mostly women, are fighting lupus. And until recently, there wasn't much medication to treat it. But senior health correspondent Monica Robbins brings us an exclusive look at how this treatment could be a game changer and potentially even put the disease into remission. In 2020, while in college, Sierra Butler learned lupus caused her rashes, fatigue, and extreme joint pain. Unfortunately, I have a specific type of lupus that's pretty stubborn, so I have drug-resistant lupus. It became much worse. I was pretty much on my deathbed, in and out of the hospital every week. Uh, kidney failure, which was leading to severe cardiac distress. Her West Virginia doctor sent her to Cleveland Clinic. When I first came to the Cleveland Clinic, I was in a wheelchair. I was not able to walk. Um, I was bald because I had lost my hair to previous treatments. Um, I was really, really ill. The clinic helped stabilize Sierra's lupus, eventually helped her and her husband have a baby. In February, she qualified for the CAR-T therapy clinical trial. Similar to a bone marrow transplant, Sierra's blood provides T cells. They're sent to a lab for lupus fighting modification. She hunkered down in the hospital while chemotherapy destroyed her immune system. So her recharged T cells could be given back and begin fighting her lupus. I have been relatively pain free, which has been a first for me in a really long time. And then the other big thing that I've noticed is my energy levels have really increased, which fatigue was a big issue for me. The big milestone for these patients would be that they stay in disease free remission for six months to one year. That would be my hope, uh, because in this space, like I said, that's even a huge milestone for them. If they can go two or three or four years, that would be life changing. And to me, that would mean that it's likely that the disease is really put into remission and remission is not a term that we typically use for lupus. There are some things that have happened in my body that may be permanent from what we know right now, like scar damage tissue. And, but getting this treatment, it's not just hope in this treatment, but it's hope in all further research. And it's not just hope for lupus, it's hope for all autoimmune conditions. So this is just phase one of this trial, so there is a very long way to go. Dr. Littlejohn says the majority of patients who received the CAR-T therapy for their lupus did show significant improvement. The question, though, how long will that improvement last? CAR-T therapy is FDA approved, but another obstacle may be its price. It is very, very expensive. That is an issue we'll have to deal with as we learn if this treatment is the answer for autoimmune disorders like lupus. Can lupus be fatal? Potentially, absolutely, yeah. You know, symptoms can range from joint pain to shortness of breath to rashes, all the way to organ damage of the lungs, kidneys, and brain. It can also lead to lifelong dialysis or cause someone to receive a kidney transplant you know, a, a number, a host of problems. Mm -hmm. And that's why, you know, it's so promising to see a treatment like this that Jay, you and I were talking about over the weekend, this CAR-T therapy, we saw yet another patient who's been treated for their HIV yes. with this treatment. So CAR-T- And cured. Yeah. Yes. And, and the person who started that treatment is right here in Northeast Ohio. Happens all the time. Uh, happens yep. all the time, <laughs> yeah. So, I, I mean, CAR-T therapy, it, it, it's a complete and utter game changer when it comes to it. We are seeing personalized medicine just explode, and, we, and we've been talking about that. I've been talking about that for 20-some years. It's when here. I th yeah, I, it's, it's, here. it's here. In fact, it's yesterday. Yeah. It's amazing. And it is. Yeah. So this is the future is now. And you talk about the cost, but when you list the issues that it causes, I mean, if it, if it was me struggling, I would, I would do everything I could we to afford it. it. And yeah. so, yeah, so hopefully, you know, insurance companies can follow suit. Yeah, that's, you know, yeah. that's Monica's Monica next chuckles. Next series. <laughs> sure they will. Let's take Mon, that thanks. from her. I know you're always going to keep us up on the very latest. You got yeah. it. All right.